In this video, we'll write the net ionic equation for PbNO3 2 plus NaCl, lead 2 nitrate plus sodium chloride. First thing with net ionic equations, we need to balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. I have two nitrates here, so if I put a 2 in front of the sodium nitrate, now I have two nitrates. Those are balanced. I have two sodiums. Put a 2 here, so we have two sodiums. Now we also have two chlorine atoms, but that's fine. We have two there. So this is the balanced molecular equation. Next, we need to write the states. So for nitrates, they're always going to be aqueous. They're going to be soluble in water. So we have a nitrate there, and then we have the sodium nitrate. That's going to be soluble in water. And in general, chlorides are soluble in water. I know that NaCl is soluble in water. That's going to be aqueous too. But whenever you have a lead compound, you'll want to look that up on a solubility table. So let's take a look. Here's a portion of the solubility table. And here's lead right here and chloride. So as we go across and over, it has an SS. That means it's slightly soluble. If it's slightly soluble for net ionic equations, we're going to call this a solid. So these are the states. So we have those. So next we need to split the strong electrolytes up into their ions. After that, we'll cross out the spectator ions and that'll give us our net ionic equation. So let's move these here out of the way. And then we know that the nitrate ion has a one minus charge and we have two of them. So we need to have a two plus here for the lead in order to balance the charges out. Sodium's in group one has a positive charge. Chlorine group 17 is negative. So we have a negative one here. So we need positive two here again. And then we have positive and negative. So we have our charges, but one thing when we write net ionic equations, we don't split up compounds that are solids, liquids, or gases. So we don't really need to have the charges here because we're not going to break this apart into its ions. So we have our aqueous solutions. Those are strong electrolytes. Let's split it up. We have Pb2+, plus, and I won't write aqueous after each one. We'll do that at the end plus the nitrate, NO3 minus this two, means we have two of those, plus we have two of the Na plus and two of the chloride ions, Cl minus. So those are the reactants. The products, we don't split the solid up, so that's just going to be a PbCl2, and that's going to be a solid plus two sodium ions and two nitrate ions. So we have everything split up to its ions. We can now cross out the spectator ions. Those are the same on each side of the equation. So in the reactants, we have this NaNO3. We have two of them. We have two of them here. Let's just cross those out. We also have two sodium ions. Reactants, here they are again in the products, cross them out. But everything else, that's unique. We can't cross that out. And that's what makes up the net ionic equation. So let's clean this up and remove all the spectator ions. Finally, we can add the states in. And this is our net ionic equation for PbNO3 2 plus NaCl. These are the rules we followed. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.